Next thing, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on this line. Right click on it. Format data series. And I'm going to click on this little paint bucket here. Click on that. And for a line, I'm going to say no line. And the reason why I'm going to say no line is really the connection between point one and point two, that line that appeared, really uh, shouldn't be there because data doesn't really truly exist between those points. Um, marker options will say automatic, fill, no fill. And there we have the data points. Um, and there's no line between them. This is really more accurately representing the data that we created, the data that we measured. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a column called um, average, A, V, E. And that's just going to be equal to the average of the values that we've measured. And so that's just going to be this value. And we'll put a dollar sign around the B, before and after the B. And you'll see what this stuff means here in a second. So we want to add that to our plot. So we can come back over here and say select, select data, add. We want to add average. And the value is going to be these guys. Now it turned out that's a straight line and I really want, in this case, I do want a line, a solid line. In markers, I want no markers. So that would be the average value of my sample set. You can see that it's pretty far from 1,000. It's over 50 ohms away. And then I'm going to plot two other, two other values that are related to the statistics of the data. So I'm going to put up here plus 1 sigma. And I'm going to put a a single a quote in front of that, one sigma, and I'll use a lowercase s. I'm going to highlight that s. I'm going to cha change the font to symbol font. And you see it makes the Greek symbol for sigma. I'm going to copy this over here. And I'm going to make this a minus one sigma. So plus and minus one sigma. Okay. So we need to add the values here for one sigma. One sigma is the value, is the average value plus the one sigma value. So that's going to be equal to this value here, standard deviation. plus this value, the average value. And I'm just going to copy that down for all these values. This is one standard deviation away from the average value of my samples. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing for this guy. I'll say equals. Um, now, in this case, it's going to be the average value minus the standard deviation. And I'll put a dollar sign in front and behind that B. You see it changed the uh, format here. Let me just change that format, format cell. And I think I had numbers and I just had one digit to the right of the decimal point. You see it also changed my column width. 
Let me move this over just a little bit. I'll do one more thing here. Let me click on this column, right click on it, and say column width. Oh, it says column width is 8.43. I'm going to just copy that and make that column width the same for my next column. There's 8.43. Uh, also, it looks like it's centered. So I'll put that centered right there. And now I'll just click and drag that value down for the other ones. And then, of course, we want to add both of those to our chart. So we'll come over here and uh, select data. We'll add. We'll add the plus one sigma values. This is the upper limit. We'll select all those. We have this problem here again, so we'll come back to this, come back to this. This is a line, a solid line, marker, no fill. I'm just going to leave it like that and see what that looks like. I have to still, still put them there. So click on this, marker, marker options, none. Okay, so that's my that's my one sigma, and let's do the last one. Select data, add data. This is the title for it, and then these are the values for it. We'll change this to. Click on the paint bucket, solid line. By the way, if I wanted to change the color or the width or anything else, I could do that here. And marker, marker options, none. Okay. I am going to change these guys in terms of what they look like. So let's go back to the line. I don't like the fact that they're so big. So I'm going to make them just one and change them to dash lines. I'll use this larger dash. And I'll do the same thing for this one. So I change the width of the line to one point and add, make them dash lines, this first one. And so that's my, that's my new plot that has all the data plotted. It has the average, the standard deviation, all the samples, the upper limit, and the lower limit. And then I just have a couple of minor things to do the chart to make it um, more understandable. One is I need a better title. So I'm just going to double click on title. I'm going to call it 25 uh, sample. resistors. The other thing I don't like is this column right here uh, should be expressed in ohms. This is These are samples down here, but this should be expressed in ohms. So uh, if I come over here to design and add chart elements, I can add a ax, an axis title for the horizontal and this will be sample. Okay, sample number. This guy will add, and we want axis title, and we want vertical, and this would be resistance and ohms. And I like to put the units in, in parentheses. And there you have it. There's our 25 sample resistors, 25 sample numbers, 
and our all of our values are average upper limit lower limit plus one standard deviation minus one standard deviation and that's our results